Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1302. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook, Excel Magic Trick 1300, 1302, and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, the last couple videos, 1300, 1301, we've been talking about listing multiple modes in a cell. But in those first two videos, we had numbers. And look at this, we have text items. These are sample results for a rating of colas. Now, normally when we have text items and we need to find the mode, we do something like a pivot table. And so we can clearly see that bad and OK are the mode. Those are the items that occur most frequently. Over here, we could use count ifs. But our goal is to put them all in a single cell. Now, as we saw the last couple of videos, if we want to use mold.mult, we have to put numbers in here. So watch this. We're going to do something crazy to convert text items to numbers. We're going to use the match function. Now, the match function usually looks up a single item within a range of item and tells you the relative position. So if I did OK in the lookup value and then gave the lookup array all this, it would say 1, 2, 3. OK is in the third position. But watch this. I need to convert all of them to numbers. So in the lookup value, I'm going to do a function argument array operation. I'm going to give it all of them. Control, Shift, Down Arrow, Control, Backspace. That's all of the values. So anytime we put multiple values into an argument like this, that means match will spit out multiple answers. And in our case, they'll be relative positions. Comma, look up array. I'm going to give it the same exact range of values. Control, Shift, Down Arrow, Control, Backspace. And it's not sorted, so we comma 0 for exact match. Now watch this. When we evaluate, remember, match delivers relative positions. And there's lots of duplicates here. When we put a 0 there, that means match, in essence, ignores duplicates and only finds the first one. So when I F9, sure enough, 1 because Excellent is in the first position, but notice we have a 1 in the first and fourth position. Boom, boom. Because it's a duplicate here, it finds excellent, but reports it as the first position. Now we've converted all these text items to numbers. 1 represents excellent, 2 great, and 3 OK. Now we have our array of numbers, Control Z. Now we can use mode.multiple. And it will simply report however many numbers appear most frequently. So when I highlight this in F9, there it is, 3 and 5. We can see bad and OK are the ones that occur most frequently. But that array tells us the relative position, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So OK and bad are our two text modes. Now, before I control Z, Notice those are relative positions. I would like to put this into the index function and have index retrieve the third and fifth value. But index can't return multiple values simultaneously. Well, guess what? The VLOOKUP function can. But we can't use VLOOKUP because this is only a first column. VLOOKUP would find something in the first column and then go over to the third and fifth column. So instead of VLOOKUP, I'm going to use H lookup, Control Z. Let's use H lookup. Now, this whole uh, mode match thing actually needs to be in the row index argument, the third argument. But I need to figure out some value to look up. Now, what is H lookup? H lookup only looks in the first row. Well, we only have one item. So, guess what? I always need to look up whatever's in this first row. And it might be different each time. So watch this. I'm going to use a wild card for text. Double quote, asterisk, double quote. What that means is find any text. So it doesn't matter what's there. It'll always find it, comma. The table array, that's going to be all of these values. Control, Shift, Down Arrow, Control, Backspace, comma. And the row index numbers, click F9. There it is, the third and fifth row, one, two, three. 4 and 5. HLOOKUP and VLOOKUP, if you give it, in our case, multiple rows, or in VLOOKUP's case, multiple columns, it can return them simultaneously. 
control Z. I definitely need to come to the end, comma, and put zero exact match, close parentheses. And that will do it. F9 on that, there are our text modes. Control Z. Now we simply throw that into text join function. The delimiter, that's the character that's going to go in between each one of our text modes. Double quote, comma space, double quote. That's the delimiter, comma. I'm going to ignore empty cells by putting true or omitting it, comma. And there it is. That whole thing are our text modes. Close parentheses. Now, that match lookup value, we're doing a function argument array operation. So we're going to have to use the special keystroke. Control, Shift, and Enter to get Excel to understand how to calculate that. As soon as we do Control, Shift, Enter, we look up to the formula bar. There are our curly brackets verifying that we entered it correctly. Now, this formula is dynamic. If I go ahead and change great to good, instantly it is dynamic, listing all three modes, Control, Z. All right, uh, last three videos, 1,300 to 1,302. We had some fun with listing multiple modes in a single cell, including this last formula that lists the text modes in a single cell. All right, we'll see you next video.